Welcome to Stories Behind the Objects, where we take a close-up look at the history behind Museum of the Rockies artifacts in five minutes or less. Today we're jumping into the museum's fine art collection. While MOR does not actively collect fine art any longer, we do have a small art collection on site. Nearly 50% of that collection is comprised of the work of one artist, Montana modernist Helen McCausland. Here you're seeing a series of paintings that she completed near the end of her life in response to protests surrounding the Vietnam War. They are among her best-known works and some of the most political of her artistic career, although she had been using her art for social commentary since the early 1930s, and she was involved in progressive politics from the 1950s until the end of her life. This piece is a collage titled The Whole World is Watching. It is an abstract work with clippings of newspaper text pasted in the upper right corner. The words are a direct reference to protesters at the 1968 Democratic National Convention. The protesters chanted, The whole world is watching, as they were tear gassed, beaten, and taken to jail. The protesters were at the convention to rally against the Vietnam War, at that time in its 13th year. There were estimated to be up to 10,000 protesters. The 12,000 strong Chicago police officers were joined by an additional 12,000 National Guard and Army troops. The brutality captured on film divided Americans across the country, with some empathizing with the protesters and others calling for increased law and order. McCausland's collage captured what one study of the conflicts called a collage of violence. The next five paintings are all untitled oil paintings depicting the Kent State shootings, which occurred two years after the Chicago Democratic National Convention. The Kent State shootings occurred on May 4, 1970, when a group of Ohio National Guard members fired upon unarmed student protesters, killing four students and wounding nine others. The students were protesting the expansion of the Vietnam War into Cambodia. Approximately 300 students gathered to protest, while several hundred more observed the protests during a break in classes. The shootings triggered outrage and strikes at college campuses across the country, including in Montana, where rallies and remembrances were held at Montana State and a student strike was held at the University of Montana. The fatalities in Ohio also had a dramatic effect on public opinion of the war. Helen McCausland felt called to create a visual reaction to and memorialization of the shootings. The paintings center only on the students, and the works feature dark, somber colors. Injured and dead figures lay stretched across the canvases with blood pooling around them as other students look on in grief. Her paintings capture the violence and horror of the loss of young lives, a feeling which reverberated around the country. Shortly after finishing this series of paintings, McCausland passed away in August of 1970. Throughout history, and including today, artists have captured and illustrated the occurrence of and the response to social upheaval and historic events. Sometimes this act of creating is a form of documentation, sometimes an outlet for emotional response, sometimes a form of activism, and sometimes all of the aforementioned. While individual artists have unique stories and motivations behind the work they produce, as a collective, artists have always been integral to protest, resistance, and cultural change.